ladies and gentlemen, gals and guys, this is Rise, and we have a very commonly featured submission artist. I know, I'm sorry the video is already going, but it, it's it's just, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. It's already going. You see the team. You see the Pokemon in the back. There is a Shadow Mewtwo in the Great League. These battles are submitted by Mr. Ficked who is always sending us some crazy spice. And this looks like a pretty convincing position already. He had the Gligar lined up. Was it a superior? Okay, Charizard comes in. Charizard's not good for Reggie, but you are up energy. So getting a shield here is really nice. And you're probably just going to be willing to let your uh, Registeel go to the Blast Burn. If they bait, even better. If they bait, you just maniacally laugh. Okay, they don't bait. Smart by the opponent. Comes in with Mewtwo. Ooh, lags a turn. Oh, no, didn't lag a turn. Okay, my bad. I'm just so used to lagging a turn upon entry, I guess. I just say it every time. Correctly shields the Blast Burn. That's big. And, dude, this Mewtwo, this Shadow Mewtwo size strikes are going to do so much. Like, obviously, that knocks out. But I can't wait to see this thing in action, like, against a bulkier Pokemon, how much that size strike does to, like, a Lantern or a Lickitung, maybe. Poor Superior. Stop tapping. Gligar, all smiles. I do recommend Shadow Gligar over regular Gligar. If you have one. I'm not sure if Ficht has a Shadow Gligar, but... Maybe there was a reason he opted for um, normal. Either he doesn't have a Shadow, or he felt like with Shadow Mewtwo, he wanted more bulk, perhaps. So this is where, like, regular Gligar gets exposed a little bit. Is it just does so little with its aerial aces to things like Amanda Buzz, where it's gonna need like four or five aerial aces. Goes for a catch, saves all that energy. This is a little bit worrisome though. Oh my god, Hypno? Okay. Not as worrisome anymore. It must have like Fire Punch or something. I, I'm surprised they would swap a Hypno into a Registeel. Zap Cannon connects, doesn't get the debuff. They're building up a lot. Could be like a Shadow Ball. Could be a Fire Punch. I don't know if that was even enough, though, for... Focus Blast! Yes, it was! <laughs> I wasn't counting. Um, goes for a Focus Blast of his own. This is resisted, but it would do nearly enough to knock out. Okay, gets the shield. You probably outpace before a Focus Blast. Oh, goes for the Combo Wombo. He said it to Wombo. Actually, what am I talking about? That wasn't a combo. That was just a catch. Now going for the Aerial Ice. Nice patience. Gonna spam off some Aerial Ices here. I still just, like, don't love this, though. Because all this energy you had stored isn't gonna do that much to this Mandibuzz. Um, nice timing. Throwing after four. Mandibuzz is at a move. Mandibuzz might throw after one here. Oh, wow. Mandibuzz gets greedy. Mandibuzz gets really greedy. Shout out to Tate McRae. Love her. But this Mandibuzz, extremely greedy. Unnecessarily had to commit the shield. Okay, at least Mandibuzz, please just blind throw a move. Please. Don't get, like, farmed down because you do snarls. Okay, thank you, Mandibuzz. Gotta shield the mute, too. Dark Pulse would probably nearly knock out. Gets the Psycho Cut down. Oh, baby, shields are down. Can Shadow Mute 2 go to town? That's not what you want to see. But the combo, this was a combo wombo. The focus blast gonna do massive damage to the Bastiodon. Bastiodon cannot farm this down. I don't know. Okay, they're forced to throw. But shields are down. Mewtwo has energy, baby. Mewtwo has energy. Oh, they're just gonna double up. Oh no, gonna go for the full farm. Ice beam ready to go on Hypno. Hyp this will definitely knock out. Hypno is low, right? Ice Beam connects. Oh, baby. Shadow Mewtwo. Let's go, dude. Regular Gligar into Shadow D Nair. This is a really close matchup with um, Shadow Gligar because depending on how good your Shadow Gligar is, it may or may not reach in a third move against the, um, the Dragonair in the two shield scenario. We see the hard swap into Skarm. I don't think this opponent is playing this right. Um, hmm. Because if you're running Dean Air lead, normally it's like an RPS backline. So shouldn't you like try and stay in and win against Gligar if possible? I don't know. Maybe the opponent knows something that I don't. Skarmory. 
Chunking with the Brave Bird. Going for another move here. Wait a sec. Skarmory shielded the first Zapkin. That's kind of odd. Skarmory's going to try and flip this, I guess. That's kind of wild. Yo, Skarm. Are you... Okay. No, they just let it go. It looks like Reddy's going to get there. Oh, saves the energy. Wasn't sure, maybe? And going to combo with the Aerial Ace. Gets the shield. In comes Mew. Oh, this is kind of scary. This is kind of scary. But you have all this energy. He still has one shield, right? Yes. Okay. So he's chilling. You just use your shield here to get rid of it, I think. No. This is scary because does Reggie get there? I think Reggie gets there. I think Reggie gets there. You're really close to a move. Yep. Reggie gets to the Focus Blast. Nice job going for that. I don't think you would have got to the Zap Cannon. Oh, baby. And now you just got to get to one side strike. These Dragon Press are chunking so much. So much. But I think you got the free sneak there. So you're already at the side strike. Let's go. And you too, I would presume, when CMP against almost everything in the Great League. Knocks out the Dragon there. And that is a G to the G. Gligar into Basti. Terrific lead. Also, this is where the normal might... I would say the normal probably is a better matchup here than the Shadow against the Bastidon because Dig probably still two shots. And uh, yeah, definitely two shots. And you're taking less damage. Yeah, it doesn't even feel the need to shield this. If you're a Shadow, you kind of need to shield this. Dig, like, doesn't quite one-shot with the Shadow. You still, like, need to throw a move, so. Regular Gligar going berserk. Going to throw the Dig. Hmm. This probably is the right play. Just safely going to uh, let it go down. Come in with Reggie to wall the energy, hopefully. They're not running Hydro Pump. They are throwing energy, which makes you think maybe they are running Hydro Pump. I wasn't counting. And there it is. Hydro Pump does some considerable damage. Uh-oh. Oh, but it's a Venu. I thought it was a Vic. If it was a Vic, there's no way Mewtwo is getting to uh, to three moves before getting Razor Leaf down. Oh, Venu. Dude, I think the Venu could have committed to a Vine Whip down. I ain't even joking. I ain't even lying. Oh, Mewtwo fell for the CMP. See, look, if... Uh, He probably shields this, or no? Yeah, shields this. So look. Oh, Mewtwo gets farmed down anyway. All right, so now you have to make sure you over farm a little. You don't need to over farm that much, actually. You just need to over farm a little, and you can't allow the catch. Nice. Doesn't allow the catch. Azu, I'm pretty sure, hydro pumped right away and then swapped out. So you should be chilling here. Because as long as you have, like, two turns of energy... You should even outpace Azu to an Ice Beam. Azu's been chipped, so Zap Cannon should be enough to knock out from this range. Bang, bang, boogie. Bzzz, Zap Cannon. <laughs> Knocks out the Azumarill. Nice job. Nice little dynamic game there. Gligar into Shadow Gligar, his evil twin. Who shall win? This might come down to, like, whoever wins charge attack prior. It looks like... Fict has a little bit of attack on his Gligar, so might be able to win it. We'll see. Usually the Shadow is going to win CMP, not because of um, anything to do with its Shadow status. It doesn't affect the, the stats on it for CMP. But uh, just because it, you're less likely to have like a high rank one, right, if it's a Shadow. Not always, though. I have a few Pokemon where I have a Shadow that's actually better IVs than my regular counterpart. Nice. Reggie gets the Zap Cannon debuff. Gonna wall this Licky even harder. Body slam not doing much. I wouldn't even mind to see like an over farm and a zap cannon here. Maybe like a slight undercharge on the zap cannon. Not a huge deal if it doesn't do that. Cause the other arg yeah, the other argument could be if you do that, then you run the risk of them like swapping out with their Lickitung. So he's just gonna try and get rid of it right away. That makes sense as well. That makes sense as well. That was weird. My computer background, my desktop background just changed while I'm recording. Whoa. Trippy. Swaps into Gligar. Gonna start firing off these aerial aces. Mewtwo in the back. There's no way the opponent expects... The opponent's thinking, like, what could be in the back? Hmm. Maybe it's a lantern. 
Maybe it's a Whiskash. <laughs> There's no way they expect a Shadow Mewtwo. Oh, man. Dude, the Psycho Cuts are chunking like a little bit more than you're used to seeing a Psycho Cut chunk. Psy Strike grabs the shield. I think you need to double shield farm down. I think you need to double shield farm down. Oh, I don't think you can, though. I think you're going to have to swap Reggie at some point. Okay. Swaps into Reggie. Forces the Gligar to throw. Now you definitely get the Psycho Cut down. But do you get off two side strike? Oh, Gligar. Undercharge is how clever. It wasn't quite enough. Oh, do you get to two, though, before they get off a move? I think so. Ho wait a sec. Hopefully, we see a counter go through here. Side strike. Gets the shield. Okay, we saw a counter go through. Because I think the opponent lagged a turn there. So I was just hoping it didn't come down to a one fast move difference there and they had the move. But it looks like even if uh, even if they hadn't lagged, still would have at least won a charge attack priority. Terrific lead for Gligar. Completely walls this charger bug. Charger bug. Let's see if it's running crunch or not. No, nope, X is there. So the fact that charger bug is staying in, right? is a telltale sign that they're probably double weak to this Gligar. Maybe there's a fighter in the back. Maybe something like an Annihilate or a grass type, maybe. Well, probably not a grass type. That'd be kind of crazy. So then they'd be double weak to fire. X Scissor connects. Gligar just being a bully here. Charger Bug doing a nice job, though, getting it low. But Gligar is going to come out of here with so much energy. So much energy. Oh, no, dude. It must be Victory Bell, right? Dig coming through against Basti. Oh, man. Double dig. Double dig. This team is really good against Basti Vitcore. Because both uh, Gligar and Basti... Or, so sorry. Both Gligar and uh, Reggie do so well against that core. Opponent's going to throw Flamethrower here. Try and chip away at this Basti. And maybe they just sacrifice... I keep calling Reggie Basti. My bad. Maybe they just sacrifice their Basti. And put it all on a victory bell in the back. Let's see what happens here. Focus blast. No, they're going to shield. Yikes, dude. They are shielding their Basti against their Reggie. This does not look like a good situation for the opponent. Focus blast comes through. Is it a victory bell? No, it's a poly. Dude, what are they doing? What? The Why would you stay? Why not just swap immediately? I don't know. I think they were in a bad spot no matter what. Side strike. <laughs> One shots. And that is a G to the G. A fun video featuring Shadow Mewtwo in the Great League from the one and only Ficked. Thank you, my man, for the submission. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, comment down below. All comments are appreciated. And all that said, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.